people. Right, what we're going to be doing today is deanodizing aluminium. So what that means is basically taking the anodized colour off the aluminium parts. So we've got two here. This open. One side. So we're going to be turning this purple anodized arm into a nice shiny chrome. Right, the tools we're going to need to do this today are a clear bowl so you can see the anodizing process taking place when it bubbles and just to keep an eye on it. Uh, we're going to need some caustic soda. Now you can pick this up in any supermarket. Just ask somebody if you don't, if you can't find it. Uh, we're going to need some polish, car polish. I use uh, a toothbrush for to scrub it. Uh, some string if you want to tie around around the part to swirl it round while it's in the mixture. Uh, and some kind of polishing tool like a, a Dremel or something similar to a Dremel or uh, well that's optional really you can you can always use a rag and use the polish on a rag okay all right to get started right you're going to switch over to the sink and uh, start the process right here we are over at the sink and the first thing you're going to need is your bowl and the reason why we do it over the sink is because uh, you fill the bowl up with warm water and put in your caustic soda. This is a different bottle, yes, yellow, it's the same stuff. Uh, we do it over by the sink because uh, if you want to stop the anodizing process at, at any point, uh, the cold water will stop the anodizing process. So, I mean, if you get some on your hands or your fingers, you just run them under the cold water tap rather than having to do it somewhere else. Okay? So what we do now is we get some warm water go in. Don't have to be hot, just warm. Just fill the bowl up, just enough to cover your part, maybe half inch in the bottom. Um, take your caustic soda, you can put as much or as little in as you want. I mean the more you put in, the faster the process will be. Just check it in. I want it to be pretty fast because I don't want this video to go on and on. Um, take anything, I'll use this for now, and just stir it in. Stir it in until it comes, well, not clear, but nearly clear. Some of this process is going to drag on a bit, so I may just speed things up. As you can see, near enough clear there. You pop it back in the sink. Run it. Uh, this is the one we've already done. Chrome. So we're going to take our other one, purple one, and we're going to strip that down to the chrome. So you just chuck them in. And uh, basically just wait for the caustic soda to do its work. Probably definitely going to speed this bit up because it's going to take a good 10 15 minutes. Right, we're back. Um, probably, I, I probably speeded that up, or I've jumped ahead to this this stage. As you can see there now, our water is pretty purple. Let's have a look at the, the part up. Have a look. Run him under the cold water tap, just to stop that anodizing process. 
and like the burning fingers. If you do this and there's still colour on it, just pop it back in. As you can see, that's pretty good. Nice and silver. Compared to the other one. Nice. Right, so we take this part now. Uh, we'll jump over onto the worktop and uh, give them a quick polish. Right, we're back on the worktop. What I'm going to do now is give them a quick wipe over. Get all the water off him. Yeah, looks pretty silver. Looks quite nice. Shouldn't take much polishing. Uh, then you get your, your polishing tool. Uh, a little bit of polish. You can put it on your finger if you want. Just rub it on. And then melt them on. And just give them a little polish. Don't worry about it turning black. So, I'm just get a quick rag. Uh, give him a quick wipe over. And there we have one nice shiny chrome arm. All we'll I have to do now is do the other side and the sides, and it's all done. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Peace.